15 by 1080, 60 hertz, and then I do believe that goes there. A uh, new game. Huh. All my progress is gone. I don't have the golden pot anymore. Alright. I'll just start over again. There's no feeling more intense than starting over. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the car. If you won some money at the casino, you can put all your winnings on red but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped the food on you. If you won an argument with a friend and then later discovered hmm. that they just returned to their original view. Hmm. Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away now. I'm just bored, honestly. Oh shit. All right. Thanks for coming with me on this trip. <clears throat> I'll understand if you have to huh? take a break at any time. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. Don't worry. I'll save your progress always. I'm actually. Just... I beat this game 50 times. I can't beat it one more time. Let me make sure that timer doesn't come back. There we go. The author of that game was Jazzer, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B games. B games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them. Now, no matter what I did, this part sucked. It was a matter of luck. Sexy hiking is the perfect embodiment of a B game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts, and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential... I hate this part, but I gotta have patience. I got to. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. The down clips are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly, in danger of falling and losing everything. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. Prod and poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach oh, shit. and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment oh, just by spending enough time. In that sense, Every pixelated obstacle in Sexy Hiking is real. The obstacles in Sexy Hiking are unyielding, and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about that. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this game. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past a new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a player. Sorry about that. Imaginary mountains built themselves from our efforts to climb them. And it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. When you're building a video game world, you're building with ideas. And that can be like working with quicksets and cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with. And in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. For years now, oh. people have been predicting that games would soon be made out of prefabricated objects, bought in a store and assembled into a world. And for the most part, that hasn't happened. Because the objects in the stores are trash. I don't mean they look bad or that they're badly made, hmm. although a lot of them are. I mean they're trash in the way that food be becomes trash as soon as you put it in the sink. Things are made to be consumed and used in a certain context. And once the moment is gone, they transform into garbage. Alright, I gotta remember, just to push straight down, not sideways. 
the time, we've poured more and more refuse into this vast digital landfill that we call the internet. Oh, shit. I don't have enough room here. My mouse was just going up, but there was no way for my mouse to, nowhere for my mouse to go. Trash, trash becomes the new media, the lingua franca of the digital age. So you can build culture out of trash. But only trash culture. B games, B movies, B music, B philosophy. Alright, there we go. Digital culture is a monstrous mountain of trash. The ash heap of creativity's fountain. A landfill with everything we ever thought of in it. Grand, infinite, and unsorted. There's 3D models of breakfast. Gen X's fanfic novels. Scan magazines, green screen Shia LaBeouf, fan stuff scenes on Live League. Facebook's got lifelike bots with unbranded adverts and candid shots of Kanye and Taylor Swift mashups, car crash epic failed chips, Russian dash cam vids, discussions of McRibs, discarded, forgotten, unrecycled, muddled, rotten, untitled. Everything's fresh for about six seconds until some newer thing beckons and we hit refresh. And there's years of persevering disappearing into the pile, out of style, out of sight. In this context, it's tempting to make friendly content that's gentle, that lets you churn through it but not earn it. Why make something demanding if it just gets piled up in the landfill, filed in with the bland thing? Ah. When games were new, they wanted a lot from you, daunting you, taunting you, resetting and delaying you. Players played stoically. Now everyone's turned off by that. They want to burn through it quickly. A quick fix for the fickle, some tricks for the clicks of the feckless. But that's not you, you're an acrobat. You could swallow a baseball bat. Now I know, most likely you're watching this on YouTube or Twitch, while some dude with 10 million views does it for you. Like a baby bird being fed chewed up food. That's culture too. But on the off chance that you're playing this, what I'm saying is, trash is disposable, but maybe it doesn't have to be approachable. I hate that. I don't have enough room to do what I need to do. I used to be able to blow right through this. An orange is sweet, juicy food locked inside a bit of peel. That's not how I feel about a challenge. I only want the bitterness. It's coffee. It's grape juice. It's licorice. Waiting for Sparking Zero to come out, and this is what I gotta do to entertain myself. I got tired of playing the emulator. Emulator. Ah. Oh, you just lost a lot of progress. That's a deep frustration. A real All right, let me skip to the part where I get back there. All right, we're back. It feels like we're closer now. Composer and climber, designer and user. You could have refused, but you didn't. There was something in you that was hidden, that chose to continue. This part I had a real problem with. No matter what I did, no matter where I did it. See, I struggle because I need to hold my thing still once I get to a certain point. Doesn't help that if I don't do it right, I hit that. Yay! Now this one sucked worse because I needed to do that times ten. It means a lot to me that you've come this far. 
endured this much, every wisecrack, every insensitivity, every setback you've forgiven me is a kingly gift that you've given me. I told myself I wouldn't play this game again because I had the golden pot. I'm not playing it 50 more times, that's for sure, but... It was definitely rewarding to get it. It's on my laptop. I know if I booted it up on there. Maybe if I booted up the actual game file. Or, like, uh, transferred the file over. Maybe there's something in the file that gives you the golden snot. Alright, we'll do this we'll do this one step at a time, I won't rush it. sucks and I'm, I'm gonna be honest I don't even remember how to do it we have the same taste you and I it's not ambition it's ambitions opposite an obdurate mission to taste defeat you'll feel bad if you win so I put this snake in for you Go. We gotta get this right. Ah. Have you thought about who you are? In this? Are you the man in the pot, Diogenes? Are you his hand? Are you the top of his hammer? I think not. Where your hand moves, the hammer may not follow. Nor the man, nor the man's hand. In this year is will, his intent, the embodied resolve in his uphill ascent.
Made it up there. Okay, now it's time to get back up here. Now this part, for me, it's one of those things where if I get, I just get lucky. Don't whisper in my ear like that. This thing that we call failure is not the falling down, but the staying down. Oh shit. Uh oh. It would have been better if I just didn't touch the ground. Now I'm gonna go all the way back down. Watch. It's what happens. No, I'm not talking it into existence. It's just gonna happen. Oh, sorry. Starting to see. I tried to get the world record, but the best I could get was like 12 minutes. I actually don't remember what my fastest was. Yay, we did it. Oh my god, only 86 more days, 87 more days until Sparking Zero comes out. I dedicate this game to you. You only came this far. I give it to you with all my love. Yay, we did it. Clear time, 20 minutes, wins 51. Yeah, see, this 51. I didn't want to break that number. I wanted to stay at 50, but... Yeah, whatever. I wonder if we go back now, will it register that I won 51 times? No. no. Anyway, guys, I was just kind of bored, you know, playing this game. I wanted to upload something. Didn't know what to upload, so why not just upload that? So, Alright, bye!